Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The Gyeonggi Special Judicial Police uncovered a number of beauty businesses, including beauty salons and nail shops, that were illegally providing tattooing services without a license. Apprehended locations typically featured an operation bed and a complete set of related medical equipment. This is one such illegal tattooing service location. At another location, a nail shop, investigators discovered a large quantity of medical supplies, including anti-inflammatory drugs. Out of 30 suspected businesses examined during the illegal tattooing service crackdown, 16 were found to have actually been operating illegally without a license, or business registration. Securing clients through personal connections via social networking services, they operated on a prepaid reservation basis. All 16 violators will be subject to criminal charges. The Provincial Judicial Police also plan to expand investigations to the medical suppliers of these businesses. Gyeonggi Province has been operating various marketing support programs for SMEs. One such program offers public relations support via home shopping TV channels. Over the past four years, 50 enterprises have benefited from this program and achieved sales amounting to 2.3 billion Korean won via broadcasts. During a single 30-minute broadcast on a shopping channel, this cosmetics company was able to sell 1,000 products. In addition to generating a profit of 38 million Korean won, this broadcast enabled the company to secure sales space at duty-free shops and department stores. TV home shopping을 통해서 저희가 상품 판매와 이제 브랜드 인지도를 제고를 시킬 수 있었고 그런 기반들이 저희가 다른 뭐 면세점이나 유통 라인을 확장하는 데도 이제 크게 도움이 됐어서. Home shopping channels usually feature the products of established brands. However, since 2015, Gyeonggi Province has been providing SMEs featuring good products and growth potential with assistance in launching their products through home shopping channels. Annually, Gyeonggi Province has been selecting 15 SMEs with high growth potential and helping them with market launches via home shopping channels. <laughs> On March 8th, Gyeonggi Province attended the second budget policy meeting with Korea's ruling Democratic Party and asked party leaders for their cooperation in pursuing provincial budget policies. Among the policies discussed, the first raised by Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung was regional vouchers. Governor Lee asked the Democratic Party for their cooperation in the nationwide implementation of the regional voucher system. Governor Lee also asked the Democratic Party to consider the realization of a land occupation tax system as party policy, to which party leaders responded positively. Other provincial policy issues were also discussed. Gyeonggi 
이런 좋은 결과가 나올 수 있게 되기를. The regional voucher system is slated to be launched throughout all of Gyeonggi Province in April. Gyeonggi Province proposed legislation regarding the expansion and safety of regional voucher utilization. During the meeting, Gyeonggi Province also requested Democratic Party cooperation in securing national subsidies of 3.15 trillion Korean won for 32 social overhead capital projects and presented 18 policy proposals including those regarding unification, economy, special zone, designation. In Weewang City, I Love Weewang vouchers issued by the city are gaining popularity among consumers. A type of regional voucher pursued by Gyeonggi Province, these vouchers can be used at affiliated shops just like gift certificates. Introduced in January through Nonghyup Agricultural Cooperative Supermarkets, the I Love We Wong vouchers come in two nominal values, 5,000 Korean won and 10,000 Korean won. These vouchers can be used for purchases at prices discounted by 6 to 10 percent during traditional holiday seasons. Currently, the I Love We Wong vouchers are being accepted as a form of alternative currency at more than 1,200 shops in traditional markets and back streets. Redeemable at Nonghyup supermarkets without an associated retailer fee like those of credit card sales, these vouchers are also welcome by shop owners. Before these vouchers were issued, Weewang City's I Love Weewang marketers had secured the participation of more than 1,000 shops, and the number will continue to increase while affiliated shops are closely managed. During February alone, the amount of voucher sales exceeded 1 billion Korean won, more than a third of the total issued amount. The purpose of regional vouchers is to help revive local commerce through the promotion of local consumption while providing benefits to local residents. Last November, on a trial basis, Gyeonggi Province established five happy town guard houses in old urban areas primarily composed of older detached houses so as to provide the residents with services similar to those provided by apartment management offices. Happy Town Guards wearing yellow vests visit the home of a solitary senior. After delivering rice and food donated by local residents, they perform various home repairs. Happy Town Guards regularly patrol the local community to aid anyone who requires assistance with necessary services. 돕고 어르신들이 이제 날로 늘어나고 있는데 자녀들이 돌보기에는 좀 한계가 있고 그래서 이제 주민 입장에서 보면 더 이런 게 많이 확대됐으면 좋겠어요. The objective of establishing the Happy Town Guard Houses is to provide living assistance and safety services in areas where community care services are lacking. Services provided include receiving deliveries and loaning household tools as well as improving living environments. This Happy Town Guard House receives dozens of assistance requests daily. The five Happy Town Guard Houses established on a trial basis are located in old urban areas in five cities of the province. According to a survey conducted on the 100-day anniversary of their establishment, 92% of users expressed satisfaction with the services provided. Based on the performance results of the trial operation that will end in May, Gyeonggi Province plans to expand Happy Town Guard services throughout the province. On March 13th, Gyeonggi Province held a public forum to discuss ways in which to implement a policy proposal for returning profits from public development projects 
to society in the form of reinvestment in other public facilities. This forum saw the participation of more than 100 specialists in related fields, including representatives of the Kyungi Research Institute and private institutes. The forum began with a presentation of the concept and background of the policy, termed Policy for Return of Public Development Profits to Society. <laughs> The presentation was followed by a panel discussion chaired by the President of the Korea Planners Association. The discussion topics included the prevention of real estate speculation and increasing Kyungi Province's portion of third phase new town development projects. <laughs> The forum participants then proceeded to discuss ways in which to create jobs through public development projects. Last December, Kyungi Province commissioned studies on the policy for return of public development profits to society with the announcement of results slated for June. In Korea, March 14th is known as White Day, a day during which candy is usually given to women by loved ones. This White Day, however, pregnant officials of Gyeonggi Province received practical gifts. Originating from the promotional event of a Japanese confectionery company more than 40 years ago, White Day is celebrated in Korea and in a number of other Southeast Asian nations. 좀 달콤하고 그러니까 저는 이런 거 이렇게 선물 받아보고 싶었고 또 이렇게 받으니까 오늘 굉장히 기분이 좋아요. In Korea, a variety of items are used as White Day gifts, including candies, cookies, flowers, and perfumes. This White Day, expectant mothers among the officials of Gyeonggi Province received air purifying plants. 공기를 정화할 수 있는 그런 식물이래 옆에다 놓고 편한 마음에서 근무하도록 하고. Placed on desks, these plants also improve office appearance. These plants were presented by senior officials, conveying best wishes for the health of pregnant officials, who invariably commented that it was the first time they received such White Day gifts. 화분 보면서 물도 주고 햇빛도 보여주고 하면서 아기한테도 참 좋은 영향을 끼칠 것 같고요. 마음의 안정도 찾으면서 업무에도 더 집중할 수 있을 것 같아요. Practical gifts such as books and plants are deemed more suitable as White Day gifts since they reflect the caring minds of the givers. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.